home church, this could be your home church. Amen. Amen. Where we honor God in our families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have hunger for God and hunger for souls. Amen. So praise God. Remember 2 Corinthians says, uh, 5.17 says that we are ministers of reconciliation. So you bringing people to, to God. Amen. He wants to use you. And he's already qualified you to do yes, all this. Amen. And he's called you to do this thing. And he's equipped you. So we need to step out in faith. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. So prepare yourselves. God has something for you. Amen. Don't leave empty. Don't leave the same. Leave changed. Amen. When you hear the word, it's going to change you. Yes. If you allow yourself. Amen. That's your choice. Allow the word of God to change us. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo! He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to, you know, correct his children. Amen. Absolutely. Sometimes we get out of whack, but he wants to correct <laughs> us. Amen. We're going to be talking today about let God arise big. Amen. Amen. Let God arise big. And this is a choice only you can make. Let him arise, you know, or you can keep him down, or you can keep him hid, amen, when you get around people, when you get around your friends, do they know you're a Christian, amen, or how long have you been running, it's time you stop, come to him, and let him rise in you big, he's not going to rise in you unless you let him, amen, amen? he'll come if you open, but we got to open ourselves up again, the problem's not with him. The problem's with us. We got to fix us. Right. Amen. You look in the mirror and say, man, that's my biggest problem. Lord, help me. Empty me of me and fill me with you. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's what yes. we want to do on a daily basis. Let him arise in you big. Amen. I can do so much, but through him, I can do bigger and better things. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to read you this uh, nugget that I have for you. So prepare yourselves. There's a, a scripture nugget that goes like this. It says, let you it says, your giants are defeated. You face giants each and every day. Gi uh, David went against this big giant. Amen. And this big giant are problems that you see on a daily basis. But you don't know, brother, what kind of giants are facing me. It doesn't matter. Your, your giants may be different than mine. But still, my God is bigger hey, than any yeah. giant that's coming against you. Amen. But we got to let him in and we amen. gotta let him do the fighting amen it goes like this it says your giants are defeated don't let your giants of cares of fears of uh, sickness problems troubles lacks uh emotions uh habits defeat you defeating them doesn't depend on your abilities That's jesus it. has already defeated them yes. you fight a defeated foe don't let a defeated foe beat you yes amen, amen. but we gotta stand in faith submit yourself to god that means you got to take that and use that authority he has given you. He's given you authority, but you're not using it. You're letting the defeated foe defeat you. Don't let that happen. It says you're fighting a spiritual battle daily. And God has given this church, us, the body of Christ, uh, weapons, uh, spiritual weapons to use. So we're fighting a spiritual battle every day. Amen. You don't come against it physically because you lose. Spiritual battle, you got to use the word of God. Amen? Yes. Since one weapon is the blood covenant that Jesus has already bought for you. Don't let any uncircumcised giant circumstance take your victory from you. Believe it, receive it, and act on it. Amen. Amen? And you can do all this. It says press on, step out in faith, child of God, and press on and keep on pressing on for Jesus. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. Amen. We need him. He's with us. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Correct. So Amen. wherever you go, he's with you. Yes. Amen. The enemy knows, but you're not confessing the word. When you start confessing the word, submit yourself to God. Resist him. Confess the word. Take authority. And he's got the flee. flee. He's got the flee. Mm -hmm. He said, you not just walk away. He says he's got the flee. I mean, he's got to scram right away. That's yeah, sure. Amen. So let's remember this and you know you're releasing those, those powerful words that he's given us amen so hallelujah one of one of one of our scriptures is this it says first peter 5 7 the amplifier says this casting all tears all your anxieties all your worries and all your concerns once and for all give it to him yeah says yes. on him 
on him but you got to release it amen you don't, don't walk around with all this care do all this weight with all these yeah. things that are holding you and weighing you down i can't i can't i can't he didn't say i can't do anything it says you can do all oh, things man. through christ who strengthens you amen for he for he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully mm -hmm. he's watching over us remember if we let these things come against us it's not his problem it's us mm -hmm. because we're not confessing his word we're not spending time with him we're not studying his word mm -hmm. amen we got to study it meditate on it and release his word yes. amen. Ooh, hallelujah it blesses me. I don't know about you. Yeah. Uh, I am blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's make this declaration together before we go any further. Yes. I'm excited. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Praise God. Thank you. Go to the next one. Here we go. Let's make this declaration together. I hope you have a Bible. Yes. Get you a Bible. Amen. And study it. Don't just let it sit there and say, man, this Bible is dusty. <laughs> I wonder why. We got to open right. it up. And, yes. and, and, and see what it says there. Yes. Amen. But it says, This is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I, I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking with God. God. I I'm boldly confess. My mind is alert. My, my spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> that means that I'm growing. That yes. means I'm maturing. Yes. You know, I don't want to be a baby Christian all my life. Oh, Amen. And be defeated. That's it. If you're defeated, it's because you're allowing yourself to be defeated. Because Jesus has already paid the price. And yeah. he's already given us all these weapons that we can use. But we're not doing it. Right. We need to get in the word, study his word, spend time with him. In other words, it's called relationship. Yes. Amen. That's what Christianity is all about. Relationship with our Heavenly Father. And when you spend time with him, spend time in his word, and get the word in you, and start confessing it. He says, I love you. In the most being shall flow rivers of living water. Confess that word and speak that word and things are going to change. And you want things to change. I want to be who he wants me to be. I'm not going to let anybody talk me out of what he's called me to be. Right. Amen. Unless you allow them. Don't allow them, you know. I'm going to be all God wants me to be. Yes. Amen. So praise God. I said, brother, I can't do that. Well, you know what? You got to. Give yourself a good spiritual bath each and every day amen. and allow the love and compassion of Christ to show and come through you, amen. So you can see people the way He sees them, yes. Because the Bible says yeah. in John 3 16, for God so yeah. loved the world, mm -hmm. world is people, yeah. So you can't get away from people wherever yeah. you go, you're gonna see people, Stay there. amen. And He's put you there for a reason, you're there for a reason. Uh -huh. You say, well, if a uh, brother or sister, holy so-and-so would be here, you know, hey, things would be better. No, you're there. Yes. And if you're there, you're a child of God, yes. and you can bring the word. Amen. 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 And so you can do all these things. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. You be a participator and not a spectator. Right. When you're a spectator, you start judging, you know. And we don't want to do that. So I'm excited. I don't know about you. Amen. But get excited. We should be the happiest people on earth. Yes. Amen. We got everything we need. So we should be happy. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be God in it. Amen. Oh man, you don't know what's facing me. Well, well you don't know what the word of God says. That's it. He's bigger than anything. Yeah. Bigger than any mountain. My God is bigger than anything coming against you. We're going to talk some more about that. But anyway, this message is, is this. Let God arise big in you. Amen. This new year. This daily, let it rise up big in you daily, amen? Uh -huh, uh -huh. But the message is let, let God arise big. Amen. We let, man, we let anything and everything, and we, we let it rise up big in things we like. All right. Worldly things. But when it comes to God, say, well, you know, if I go once a month, once a week, once a year, he, he'll be satisfied. No, he don't want no. Uh, what do you call them? Step kids. <laughs> he wants full time kids. Amen. Full custody. Full custody. <laughs> That's it. Full but custody. you know, we, we, we reverse it and we turn it around and says, God, you be there. When I need you, I'll call on you. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. He wants you to be available every yes, time. Yes. So make yourself available. You know, when you get 
full of the word and you get uh make yourself available available he's going to want he said i'm seeking to go see who i can find i can't find anybody i said wait a minute Lord. here i am i'm ready yeah what is it you want me to do mm -hmm. i can do all things through all Christ things. who strengthens me mm -hmm. hallelujah fear is gone i'm going to step out in faith yes. amen as believers we should be stepping out in faith yes. not fear yes. fear is gone faith is in so we're going to step out in faith amen Woo. hallelujah amen <laughs> Let God arise big in you this year and daily. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. <clears throat> let God arise and let your enemies of cares, the right. enemies of uh, troubles, right. problems be gone. Amen. Amen. Speak to them. What yeah. did Jesus do? He spoke the word. Yeah. So we can speak to them and ourselves and also. Yes. And, and not just once in a while. That's it. But all the time. Speak the word and things will change. Amen. Speak the word. Whatever you say can be can happen. Yes, Amen. it can. Keep confessing faith your words. Confessing the word. The truth is going to set you free. Yes. Amen. Let me see what we got. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Psalms uh, 68 and 1. That's my next thing here. Mm. Amen. That's uh, King James. Amen. Let me see if I have something else. Keep going. There we go. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them yeah. also that hate him flee before him. Yeah. Psalms 6, 8, 68, 68 and 1. Verse yes. 1. Amen. In a few minutes we're going to extend that. But anyway, uh, John 8, 31 and 32. Keep going, Carmen. 8, 31 and 32. New King James says this. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in me, my word will abide in you. Yes. And my, my disciples indeed. Yes. You are my disciples indeed. You shall know the truth, and the truth yes. shall set you, shall make you free. Yes. Some translation says, what well, new, new living translation, go to the next one. Yeah. The new living translation says, Jesus said to his people who believed in him, you are truly my disciples. Uh -huh. If you remain faithful to my teachings, yes. faithful to my teachings. All we right, got to be yeah. faithful. We got to get it in us. Amen. Yes. If you get it in you, uh -huh. you can speak it out. Amen. Yes. He says, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. You know, things that will try to keep you down. Remember we talked last week, we talked about uh, uh, distractions, uh, things that come. Uh, uh, we talked about time killers, passion killers, all uh, dream killers, you know. These things are come, and the enemy's going to see to it, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he uses people also. Yes. And they're going to come and they're going to try to stop you yes, and yes. kill your dreams. Yes. You know, because they couldn't fulfill their dreams. They uh -huh. gave up on their dreams. Now they want you to give up on your dreams. Yes. And look, hey, you know what? We can just hang out. Uh -huh. You know what? Your little comfy flesh, uh -huh. you just want to say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, when you're empty, when you're running empty on spiritual food, uh -huh. You're going to give in to what the world wants. Oh, so yes. you got to spiritually, you got to stay full of the Bible. You have to stay full. Amen. The overflowing, the Bible says. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's John 8, uh, 30, verse 31 and 32. Keep going. There you go. Just leave it right there. <laughs> it says, let go and let God. Mm, uh -huh. Let go of the, of the things, the circumstances in your life that are out of control. Mm -hmm. Let go of the things in life that are in control. Oh, yeah. They want to control you. Yes. Amen. I mean, all these things. So you uh, let go of those things uh, that keep you, us from fulfilling all God has for us. Yes. He's got assignments for us. He's got a mission call for you. Mm -hmm. He's got a call for you. But we're not answering because we're not in tune with him. You all know, right. every time he calls, mm -hmm. we hang up on him mm -hmm. or we don't answer the call. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. these uh, cell phones, you can see who's calling you. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You can see who's calling you and say, man, I don't want to talk to this person right now. <laughs> and you know, every time you, you look at your little uh, spiritual uh, uh, cell phone, <laughs> it says, oh, it's Jesus again, man. Forget it. I'm busy. I'm taking care of self. <laughs> How dare he calls? <laughs> That keeps us from fulfilling all God has called us to do. He's called you to do something. Yes. yes. And again, the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. <clears throat> Listen, you can't fight a spiritual battle 
with physical strength. Right. You lose. Mm -hmm. Every time. We're not fighting a physical battle. We're fighting a spiritual battle. Yep, so yep. we need the word. And yep, he tells yep. us what we need. So yep. get in the word. Instead of trusting, lean on, on God's strength. Yes. It's a type of surrender that involves God to do the work for us. Mm -hmm. The work only he can do. So let go and let God. Amen. Yeah. Lord, empty me of me and fill me with all of you. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do, Lord. Before we go anywhere, spend time with him. Get yes. yourself right before you yes. head out. You know, spiritually, yeah. get full before you head out. Because yeah. the enemy and the world, they're going to empty you fast. Mm -hmm. If you're not ready, they're going to eat you up and yeah. spit you out in a heartbeat. That's Amen. It. And then what you're going to do? <laughs> Praise God. Mm -hmm. So might as well just be ready first. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. It says, Mighty God, uh, magnify God and not your cares. Oh, yeah. Magnify God, not your problems, your, your troubles, your worries, your anxieties, and not your enemies. Yes. We're champs at doing these things. We're champs at, at giving in. We're oh, champs yeah. of, just, of just lining up and getting mm -hmm. uh, in, into the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. I say, wow, man. We, we got to stop this. Yeah. This new year, reverse this. You yes. make the change. Yes. Amen. Give full of the God and say, man, this world is gone. Remember 2 Corinthians 5, 7, 3. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're a new creature in Christ. The That's old it. is gone and the new is in. That's it. So uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop pleasing the world. I'm going to stop pleasing the friends. I'm going to stop right. pleasing the people. Amen. And start pleasing God. Come on now. Amen. How do you please God? Mm -hmm. Getting the word. Making yes. yourself available. Growing in the things of God. Yes. And going and doing all he wants us to do. That's it. Letting go and letting God. Yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. we need to do this. Woo, hallelujah. You need to write this down. If you don't have it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> We're God's warriors. Yes. Amen. Warrior. You're a mighty warrior. Consider yourself a mighty warrior for God. Yes. You're not just a nobody. You're special to him. And yes, you're a yes. mighty warrior for God. Yes, yes. Not a warrior. Yes. Yes, yes. You know, sometimes we you know we try to help him out with all our worries. Mm -hmm. He don't need our help. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you're a mighty warrior warrior for God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. And listen, <laughs> pray and don't worry about it. Right. Right. But if you're going to worry about it, why even pray? Yeah. Amen. The choice is yours. Mm -hmm. He's given us a choice. He's yes. given us our free will. Yes. And he's not going to overcome or violate our will. That's right. right. If that's what you want to do, mm -hmm. he'll let you do it. That's it. Go yeah. ahead and get Where's yourself you and be like the prodigal son. Say, hey, mm -hmm. Dad, <laughs> I'm old enough. I'm out of here. Give me what's mine and I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Lord, mm -hmm. I'm here. I, I, I know what I need to know, so I'm on my own. Yeah, you're on your own. Yeah. And you know, remember that bumper sticker I got on my truck that I told you I got? Yes. It says, it's hell without God. Oh, yeah, without it's hell without Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. So, <laughs> can't do it. Right. You know, Christian, Christian, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christ, first Christ, and mm -hmm. I am, I am, yes. I'm nothing without him. I am nothing without Christ. I am nothing without Christ. Christian. You take the Christ and you separate it and you put I at A. I am nothing without, without him. I am nothing without him. I need Christ in me. Amen. Every one of us. Amen. I mean, so we, we go through so much suffering before we say, you know, like the prodigal son. I need Jesus. I need to go back to Father. Yeah. We need to go back to Father's house. Yes. Amen. We need to go back to Him. He's Amen. got a plan for us. Yes, He does. And none of it includes defeat. That's it. Amen. All of it is victory. Yes. If we just line up with Him. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Glory. Glory. I'm preaching better than you ain't been a minute. Amen. <laughs> what are you letting rise up big in your life mm -hmm. this new year? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what is your focus? What are your words, your actions, your energy? Or your thoughts. You might say it's hard right now. Mm. I've lost my job. I've lost money. I've lost loved ones. My health is bad. Mm. Somebody did me wrong. Somebody walked out <laughs> on me. 
Man, what's your hand? Woe is me. But whatever problems, we're all going through some different problems. Yeah. But still, <laughs> let God be God. Yes. And he says, cast it all on me. Yes. And you're still carrying on these things. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can go on and on and on. But my Bible says, God is bigger. Yes. So, choose Jesus. Yes. Amen. So, why are you still moping? Mm -hmm. You know, let him take over. And yes. he can do Thank better you. than we can. Amen. And he don't need our help. He just no, he wants us to submit, <laughs> commit, and surrender. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And man, mm. praise God. You're magnifying and focusing on the wrong things. Mm. You're letting defeat, discouragement, and self-pity rise up. Oh, yeah. Amen. Don't 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 let it. Turn that around by magnifying God. Keep your priorities Amen. in order. Seek you first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added on you. Seek him first. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't put him on, on the bottom of the list. Put him on top of your priority list. Seek yes, first yeah. him. Amen. And spend time with him before you go into this world. Because mm -hmm. this world is the world is ready for you, but you ain't ready for the world. No, that's right. Amen. That's <laughs> and the world is gonna have you chew you and spit you out in a heartbeat. Yes. So you get yourself right before you go mm -hmm. out. There's oh giants God. waiting for you. Oh yeah. Amen. When they see you come out mm. after you spend time and you're full, spiritually full mm. of him, man, they're just gonna step aside. Yes, say, yes. Mm -hmm. You know what to say, you know what to do. <laughs> Amen. And I'm gonna do what God wants me to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna let anything steal my peace today. That's it. Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Let God let go and let God arise big this mm. new year daily. Let God be in control. Yes. And you know, when you're full of God and you're doing what God wants you to do, you're in control. Amen. I mean, you're strong in Him. Amen. You may be hurting right now, but know God is your restorer. Yes. You may have lost job, money, loved ones, but still, don't worry. God is your provider. Mm -hmm. He'll supply all your needs. Yes. That's what the Bible says. When you know yes. the Word, it's going yeah. to set you free from all these mindsets. Mm -hmm. From all these traditional things mm -hmm. that come against you. And yeah. people are going to come and say, oh man, I've gone through that. And you know what? We all go through those things. <laughs> Amen. And they're going to pull you down. And you're going to start believing them before you believe what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. He says, no, you got it wrong. You know what? God is my provider. Yes. God is my supplier. He yes. supplies all my Thank needs. Amen. Oh. He supplies all my needs. All my needs. All my needs. And he'll fight my battles for me. Exodus 14. In 14, this is Exodus uh, Amplified. It says, The Lord will fight for you, and you yes. shall hold your peace uh -huh. and remain at rest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Who are you fighting against? Mm -hmm. That's not your neighbor. No. no. <laughs> That's not mm -hmm. somebody you know. That's the enemy. The enemy. That's what the Bible says. The enemy. The enemy says, The thief, the devil, the mm -hmm. Diablo, whatever you want to call him, he comes to steal, kill, kill and destroy. destroy. Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Abundant. So it. he's the one you're fighting. But you need his word. Mm -hmm. And you need God's him word. to rise up big in yes. Amen. And you can do all things through Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so that's, that was uh, Exodus 14, 14. Yes. When you start giving God glory and letting him rise in your life you cannot stay defeated you yes. cannot stay defeated yes. you're going to rise up amen you're going to rise up your enemies will be scattered mm -hmm. they'll tremble at your words of faith yes. speak faith filled words amen don't just go shooting what everybody else is saying <laughs> because you don't want to sow negative seed you want to sow positive seed yes. remember you control that you put yes. the guard over your mouth over your lips because out of it, you speak mm -hmm. positive or negative, yes. life or death, yeah. death or life. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you, what seeds do you want to sow? You yes. decide. You Amen. Decide. Nobody can decide. Nobody can decide for you except That's yourself, it. because it came out of you. Uh -huh. So instead, speak the word, speak life, and speak. Be positive. Amen. Oh, these things are always happening to me. Oh, boy. You know, oh. ah. you're going oh, confessing the wrong things. It always happens to me. Begin uh -huh. declaring God's goodness in your life and let God arise so that you can move forward in victory. Have victory in Jesus each and every day. Always. 
Because the word of God says so. Yes. Amen. Well, all we're doing is confessing his word back to him. This is what your word says. So I'm standing on your word. If you're going to make a stand, stand. Amen. If you, you know, when you get in the word, you grow spiritual roots. Mm -hmm. And you want that root to go deep. Amen. The more you study, the deeper the roots go. Mm -hmm. Man, what kind of roots do you have? I have faith roots. Mm -hmm. I have work roots, you know, yes. and they're deep. And the Bible says in Ephesians, you know, 6, 13, 14, it says, when you've done all you can, you've done, it says stand. Mm -hmm. Stand. And 14 says, starts with stand. Yes. What am I going to do? I'm going to stand in faith. I'm going to stand in the word. I'm going to stand in him. Amen. And you can't go wrong. Amen. You can't go wrong. Let God arise. Let him come on the scene. Amen. With power. Mm -hmm. Amen. To establish his purpose. Mm -hmm. He'll come on the scene. He, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He goes with you. Yeah, in Psalms 23 and, and 4 uh, it says, Yea, will walk through the valley of shadow of death. I fear no evil. Why? Uh -huh. Because he's with me. Yes. Wherever I go, he Amen. is with me. Ooh. Hallelujah. Amen. So Amen. Psalm 68, 1 and 30. Uh, Lord, let me see what this says. Let the Lord fight your battles. He has lost one yet. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is this victory? <laughs> This yes. is victory, man. He never lost yes, a battle. Is. They thought he had died when they crucified him. Uh -huh. And he was gone. He was gone three days. Uh -huh. <laughs> but he rose again. Amen. Man, enemy didn't want us to hear that, you know. No, and he went down to, to, to hell. And he took yeah. the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Yes. The enemy says, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Guess who's up again? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you know. Oh, praise God. The Lord will fight your battles. He hasn't lost one yet. That's it. Mean, isn't that encouraging? Yes. Awesome, man. I hope the Cowboys get this. Keep oh, <laughs> 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 going. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Right there. Just leave right there. It says Psalm 68, verses 1 through Three. No, I'm going to read it from the King James here. I mean, New King James. New King James. It's talking about, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Yeah. Let those also who hate him flee before him. Mm -hmm. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. Yes. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Yes. But let the righteous be glad. Amen. Let them rejoice before God. Yes. Yes. Let them rejoice exceedingly. You see, I let all the lets in uh, different yep. colors so you can oh, see. Gosh. Let, let, let. Yeah. I got to let go yes. and let God. Yeah. Amen. When we let him, he's going to have his way. Yeah. And he had never lost. Never was. So he's never yeah. going to lose. I mean, lose again. He's never going to lose no. if you let him have yeah. his way. That's it. Amen. But I got to do something. I got to let him. <laughs> Amen. I got to get out. Up, get off the throne and put him on the throne. Amen. 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 And let him stay there. And every time you feel like <laughs> taking time off, every time you feel like putting yourself back on, it says, I, I'm not going to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I learned my lesson. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know I want to keep on winning and I'm going to keep him on the throne. Amen. Let God arise. Let is an action word. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Give God permission. Mm -hmm. Let go totally, completely. Just let God allow Him to speak. Yes. Amen. Allow Him to speak. The Bible says that we are His ambassadors. Ambassador is His word. We're His mouth. We're His mouthpiece. We speak. But what are we going to speak? We want to speak the word of God. Right. And we're going yeah. to speak the truth. Yes. Amen. And these things are going to set us free. Allow Him to participate yes. in solving your problems. Uh -huh. You know, well, <laughs> we've been trying to for so long and we're still defeated. Yeah. We're trying it for so long and we still got problems. Well, let him be involved in this, amen? <laughs> Just say, Lord, go ahead and do uh -huh. what needs to be done. That's it. Have your way, amen, have your way. <laughs> let is a, power, is a power word. It involves your will, mm. your choice, and your decision. Yes. It's a power word, but mm. you gotta let it go. You gotta. Can, it, it involves your your will, your your willpower, your drive, your motivation, 
your backbone. All right. <laughs> Amen. That means you got to step aside yes. and give him first place. Yes. <laughs> you got to dethrone yourself all so right he can be thrown. He can be on the throne. Not just once in a while, but all the time. All the time. Yes. All the time. You know, when the enemy comes, <laughs> you know what David said? Little David, mm. he spoke to that uh, giant. Yes. He knew <laughs> his God. Every time he had a problem, he says, God is there for me. Uh -huh. Who is this uncircumcised uh -huh. Philistine? You know, man, he charged him, man. He was, yes, he did. You can't do that if you ain't full of God. Yes, he is. <laughs> when you're full of God, say, hey, uh -huh. no weapon formed against me is going to uh -huh. prosper. And this right. uncircumcised Philistine is coming down. Uh -huh. Not only that, he went bold enough to say, I'm going to cut your head off. He didn't even have a sword. <laughs> he didn't have a sword with him. <laughs> so guess what? He went and took his sword and chopped his head yes, off. Amen. So listen, you've got everything you need to do what God has called you to do. Amen. Yes. But it involves your will, your choice, and your decision. Yes. Psalms 91, 1 through 3, in the uh, easy to read version, it says, You can go to God most high to hide. You can go to God all powerful for protection. Uh -huh. I say to the Lord, You are my place of safety, my fortress, my God, I trust in you. And verse 3 says, God will say, uh, excuse me. God will save you from hidden dangers and yes. from deadly diseases. Yes. Amen. Praise mm -hmm. God. Amen. Let's go to let's go to read it from the uh, from the from the King James Psalms. Go to Psalms. Uh, uh, yeah. Psalms ninety one. Psalm ninety one. Yes. Psalms ninety one. Yeah. Are you there yet? I'll just read it okay. to you from the easy to read version. Mm. The Psalms 91. Yes. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I hear him. Okay. Verses uh, 1, 2, 3. <clears throat> Psalms 91. The security of the godly. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Yes. And verse 3 says, Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the power and from the noise and pestilence. Yes. Amen. All of this, you know, you ought to read this at least once once a day. <laughs> Amen. Is there for you. He is our yes. protector. Amen. Yes. He protects us at all yes. times. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm not going to read the whole thing right now, but here it is right here. Amen. It says, He who dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For He will deliver you from the snare of power and from the noise, the deadly uh, pestilence. Amen. That's it. Woo. Hallelujah. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And another one, I don't know why I closed my body. <laughs> keep, keep going, Carmen. Here's the next one. Here we go. Oh, Psalm yes. 100. Oh, yes. Psalms are good. Psalms oh. are songs. <laughs> the word is good. <laughs> and let me see why, why I wrote it here somewhere. But uh, it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all your names. Serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, gladness. Oh, my. <laughs> Serve the Lord, Lord with gladness. Yes. You, you, you don't have to. Sell yourself totally out to him. You gotta commit, you gotta uh mm -hmm. submit, and yes. you got to surrender. Yeah. Totally. Submit. It says, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Mm -hmm. No verse three said, Know ye that the Lord He is God. It is He that made us and not we ourselves. We yes. are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Verse four, mm -hmm. enter his gates with Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. You know, you open up every day just giving him thanks. Yes. What, what can I say? Mm. Open up with Thanksgiving. Yes. Thank you open up. Oh, enter his gates with Thanksgiving. Enter his courts Jesus. with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Verse 5. For the Lord is good. good. <laughs> his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all, all generations. generations. Amen. Yeah, amen. So, we have to be obedient be hearers and doers of the word of God. Yes. Amen. What does it say? Mm -hmm. 
Psalms 101, verse 1 and 2. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the land. Serve the Lord with gladness and come to his presence with singing. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hey, you don't know what you're going to face each and every day, but guess what? I'm going to submit myself to God. Yes, yes. Amen. And regardless of what's coming, mm -hmm. regardless of what giants are facing me, yes. greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Greater, that's greater, it. greater, greater, bigger. Mm -hmm. Or you can say bigger. Mas grande. Yes. <laughs> Nehemiah 8 and 10 says, a letter part, uh, part B there says, mm -hmm. the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm -hmm. So quit your frowning. <laughs> right. <laughs> quit <laughs> your sadness. Uh -huh. It's not going to help you any. Mm -hmm. You know? When you follow God, you yeah. don't have to be sad about anything. That's it. Amen. You just let the joy of God be your strength. Amen. And it's going to bring down some of these people around you. Yes. yes. That are always negative. That are always sad. Oh, and they're going to be mad at you because you're going around smiling. Yeah. When they, you should be sad like them. Uh -huh. Nope. You know, God made you an original. You don't have to be a copy. Amen. You don't have to copy nobody else. If you're an original, an original is better than any copy, any time. Right. Mm -hmm. So just be the original God made you to be. Amen. Ooh, he loves you just that way. Amen. <laughs> Excuse me. Numbers 10.35. And the King James says, And it came to pass, when the ark set forth, that Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let thine enemies be scattered. Yes. And let them that hate thee flee before thee. Uh -huh. Amen. There you go right there. It says, Lord, let okay. and, and let thy enemies be scattered. Amen. Mm -hmm. So whatever enemies are coming against you, mm -hmm. and believe me, <laughs> they come. They come. They'll come. Yeah. They'll come. Huh. So you just gotta take authority. Mm -hmm. Submit yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Resist them. And they have to flee. Yes. Let you. God arise daily in your lives. Yes. And this is where I wrote. Uh -huh. Commit, submit, surrender. Whichever one you're in a place first. Uh -huh. Surrender, submit, commit yes. to Him daily. Matthew 6, yes. 33. Also, uh, James 4 and 7. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. You have to do something. You got to resist Him. And He'll flee from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you have to take that authority. Yes. You know, He came. <laughs> if He came to try to trick Jesus, He'll come and try yeah, to do the same with you. That's it. He came in the desert, and Jesus had been fasting. He yeah. said, well, he said his weakest point right now, mm. so I can go and make him bow down to me. Mm. What did Jesus Long use? Choice. You use it. You, Jesus used yeah, the word. word. Yeah. <laughs> it, is written. it is written. It is written. Now, if yeah. the word worked for Jesus, it'll work for you. Yes. yes. Amen. It'll work, but it. well, we have to get it in us yes. so we can speak it out. Amen. The word Amen. is good, but you have to release it. Yes. Amen. You got to release it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it. Says praise him and give thanks daily. Psalms 100. We just read coming to uh, what was it? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, go back. Come. Psalm 100. Yeah, right there. Enter his, to his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Praise. Be thankful Thank unto him and, and bless his name. Day. Amen. So rejoice and be glad daily. Yes. Amen. Uh, well, let's go First Thessalonians. We know all these. We just using the word. Amen. Amen. We're using the word. First Thessalonians says what? Uh -huh. Yeah, five. Everybody knows First Thessalonians five, <clears throat> verses uh, sixteen through eighteen. Yeah. And then I'll read it to you from the King James. Five. Rejoice. Okay, 5, 16 through 18 says, Rejoice evermore. Mm -hmm. 17 says, Praise without ceasing. Yes. And verse 18 says, In everything yes. give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Yes. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. So, what are we going to use? We're going to use the word of God. Yes. But you got to get it in you. No. Don't exclude yourself and don't say, I can't. Because That's the word of God doesn't say, I can't. The word of God says, you can do all things all through Christ. I can't learn. I can't learn the scriptures mm -hmm. like that. You know? yes, you yes, you can. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're going to be stopping. And we're not going to finish this. 
possibly till next week. Amen. <laughs> but uh, also says, Rejoice and be glad daily. Amen. Psalms 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Lord has made. Says, We or I will rejoice and, and be glad in it. You got a choice. And your choice should be, I'm going to be glad in yeah. it. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day you have given me. Keep set and keep your priorities right. Matthew 6, 33. Mm -hmm. Know that you can do all things through Christ. Oh. Philippians 4, 13. I, you can put your name there and personalize yes. it. Just, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Don't let a person, don't let anybody tell you that you can't. Right. Because the world's going to say, you ain't good enough. You huh. can't do this. You can't do that. Huh. But the Bible says, you can do all, all things, things through Christ. Christ. Amen. Know that greater is he that is sinner than he that is in the world. First John 4, 4. Mm -hmm. He is in you. You know, when Jesus was sacrificed, he bought you back. And you don't belong to yourself. And Amen. the Bible says that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. He that is in the world. Woo. That's the Lord. Again, I'll close with this. It says James 4, 7 and 8. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he's got to flee from yes. you. Yes. The yes. easy to read yes. version says, So give yourself to God. Stand against the devil. And he will run away from you. Amen. Submit. Uh, flee. Uh, definition for flee says, Run, run away. Yeah. Escape. Yeah. Take off. says, Fly. <laughs> Fly. That means he just ain't gonna. Well, I don't feel like it, or I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> he's got to submit to the word yes. of God, and he's got to do, be obedient to what the word of God yes. said. He said, it not just take some baby steps away from me." <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Flee." He means fly, cast, go. He says, "Run." <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you you got to go. Run as in he, he may not be afraid of you, but he's afraid of. Who's you are mm -hmm. and who's backing you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you're a child of God. See yourself that way. Quit calling yourself anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay? You're a child of God. If yes, you've done yes. wrong, all you have to do is confess your sins. Yes. And he says he'll forgive you and forget them. So you need to do the same thing. You gotta forgive yourself. Amen. Mm -hmm. And don't let people bring it against you. Mm -hmm. But you gotta forgive and forget. And he says, dust yourself off. And press on. He's not going to disqualify you. He's already qualified you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So. When you know the word is the truth. And the truth yes. is going to set you free from all the mindsets. People say. You know. He yes. can't use you anymore. You're not qualified anymore. You can't do this. You can't do that. Well that's not what the word of God says. If I confess my sins. He'll forgive and forget. And then he says. Get up. And press on. Mm -hmm. Press on. Amen. He didn't say, well, you got to sit down for so long. No. <laughs> you're not qualified for me no more. Mm -hmm. No, that's not what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. So, we'll stop right there. Amen. Did you get anything? Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it blessed me. I hope it blesses you. Yes. You that are watching, you that are listening. You know, you've been running from God. No. It's time to stop. <laughs> you know, it's time to stop. Yeah. And say, Lord, <laughs> I've been running too long. He says, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And he's not going to turn you down. That's it. That's he's going to clean you. He's going to forgive you. Forget about it. And he's going to say, son, daughter, it's time to press on. Yes. yes. Amen. Press on. I've got a calling in your life. I've got, I've, I, I've, I've uh, qualified you. I've equipped you. Now you got to press on and yes. do what I've called you to do. Amen. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. So it's time, it's time for this to happen. Amen. If you got sickness in your body, I speak to myself all the time because you know what? Sickness is going to try to come. Sickness is going to try to just come all over you. But I speak to myself and I say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. You know, I accept no malfunctions in this body. I want everything functioning the way God created it to function. Amen. So malfunctions, you got to go. And body. Line up with the word of God yes. and receive your healing. I receive my healing. Receive your healing. Because he died for all of us. And he, he paid for all of us to be healed and restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you, all you have to do is receive it. And it's time to give. Those of you watching, listening, just go to our website, uh, nbcbigben.com. Uh, hit that donate button. It should be on your screen. And uh, mail it in. 
MBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, uh, just go to uh, New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you. We love you. So press on with him. Amen. He loves you. He wants you to do big and good things for him this year. Okay? Amen. So meet yourself to him. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. God bless. Yeah.